Today, we're visiting the highest point in the state of Iowa. That's coming up next. <laughs> It is Joshua and Reese Bunny. We stopped along the side of the road because we found a significant point in the state of Iowa, and that is Very tell them, significant. tell us what it is. It is the highest point in Iowa. Highest point above sea level in Iowa. I, I'm looking at it right now. Oh. It is magnificent. Magnificent. It is breathtaking. Mm. I can't believe the one, this should be one of the wonders of the world. Well, we're gonna check it out, and you know what? There's a geocache here, and there's an earth cache here. It's a little windy outside, so we hope you can hear us. Come with us as we discover the highest point in Iowa. It's so incredible. because um, this is the highest point in Iowa, but there is no mountain here. There is nothing here. <laughs> it's just flat cornfield. We are on a family farm right now. Yeah, we're on a family farm. And we're at 1,600 feet, okay? But we're at the highest point in Iowa. There's geocaches here. There's a silo here. There's a bench. Um, Reese your bunny. There's a bench? There's a bench right there. Let's go. Let's see if we can find the geocache here at Hawkeye Point. Let's do it. We are a total of 26 feet away. Let's go. Let's find it. You guys, we found it. A little uh, purple little geocache in this very windy place. I know we're at the highest point in Iowa because it's so windy and we're gonna sign this geocache. There's also, guys, there's also an earth cache here. We're gonna find that as well. Alright guys, it's part of Hawkeye Point, the highest point in Iowa. There's actually a walkthrough museum that is in the form of a barn. So we're gonna walk through a barn that's a museum. Clever idea, let's do this. What do you see? I see a cow. All right guys, we're finding another cache that is right near the highest point in Iowa. I didn't even look at the size of this one. We're just in a bunch of pine trees. Let's look around. How far away? I mean, we should be right on it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy cow, Reese, your buddy oh, took okay. it out. That's a really big ammo can. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Whoa, oh, look I at that thing. You. That is one large ammo oh, can. My Lord. Wow. Guys, I've seen a lot of big ammo cans in my day, but uh, I think the highest point in Iowa deserves an awesome ammo can. Check it out. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. All the swag in here is in little Ziploc baggies. Everyone should do this. <laughs> then you get gross moldy all over your McDonald's toy and it ain't <laughs> cool. I don't like it. Geocachers, let's talk about ammo cans for a second, okay? Now this is an amazing ammo can. And more and more, this game of geocaching is turning into micro after micro, which is fine, but gosh, everybody loves an ammo can. And this one is huge, double-sided. Look at it, you can open up this side and this side, and so smart because look at this. This sucker is attached. This is locked to the tree, secure. I love it, I love an ammo can. Hey guys, if this is the first time seeing the geocaching vlogger, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our geocaching adventures. And if you like what you see, make sure you share it with a friend. Definitely, share. And as always. Thanks for watching! Woo! It's 
here we are at the next stage, and if you can see behind me, there is like a gigantic clam, a gigantic clam filled with golf balls. And we've gotta figure out which golf ball has the letter and the word, but you have to use a black light to see which one of the golf balls or which one of the pearls is the right one. Uh, so they actually provided a black light. This is so cool, check this out. All right, let's lower the lights, everybody. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It is so obvious. Pull it out. 